When the Fly Dubai passenger jet crashed in Rostov in Russia last month, it not only claimed the lives of all on board, it triggered a backlash against the airline and its management. Pilots have been speaking out to RT, saying they're pressured to work even while exhausted. Dozens of employees of Fly Dubai and also Emirates Airline have sent us accounts of their working conditions. Now an online activist group is also helping them to be heard. RT's Paula Slea managed to get an exclusive interview with the campaigners. They asked for their identities to be concealed. Inside the world's fastest growing commercial airline, there's room for a lounge in the sky and seats equipped with a personal minibar. There's room for all the latest gimmicks on the market, but there's no room for a trade union. And so disgruntled staffers are finding other ways to vent their frustrations. What these pilots are doing is actually going out there and voicing their opinion over social media and over the media like, like Russia TV, which is a good idea because the word gets out there. Since RT first began its investigation into the conditions of pilots at Fly Dubai and Emirates Airlines, both owned by the Dubai government, more than 80 pilots and cabin crew, current and former, have contacted us. There is no union, so it's forbidden by law. The crew who reported to the GCA, which is supposed to be the outside uh, authority to investigate this, they end up getting fired for this. With no trade union to protect their rights, and a management employees believe is more intent on making money than addressing their concerns. This is not the only example of how Emirates workers fight for their rights. There is at least one other site of an undisclosed number of Emirates employees and affiliated sympathizers who voice their concerns. There's a cultural fear. Um, uh, for every mistake, or even if you don't make any mistake, if someone blames you for something, you don't get the chance to defend yourself. You just get the warning, you just get the, they just fire you. So after uh, sometimes you, some time uh, spent in Dubai, you feel uh, like uh, everything you have, your whole life is in danger. Because if you get fired, you're gonna lose your house, you're going to lose your whole life. I think that this is why they, they, they are telling, they're feeling like in the golden cage. I've put my email address and they send me their stories uh, on my email. Um, I check them uh, as much as I can. And if I um, assess them valid, I publish them. And with more than a million hits in three years, the site has opened up a can of worms. If an organization doesn't have the mechanism built in within the organization, to take these uh, complaints, these comments, criticism, and act upon that and basically close the loop on that, then this is the situation that happens. These get basically suppressed. There is a pressure cooker type of uh, phenomena, and you know that in the pressure cooker phenomena, the pressure accumulates over there, and one day it bursts. Paul Islia, RT. Well, Emirates refutes that, saying they have a pilot risk management system that reviews all feedback received from crew members. But the airline's pilots we spoke to say it doesn't work. Uh, that's, that's exactly what they say. We monitor it, um, but do they do anything about it? No, they don't. And that's the issue with the company, the awful rostering patterns. But they'll just turn around and say, it's legal which it is, but it's immoral because it's not consistent with sleep patterns and, 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 and resting properly prior to your next duty. And when you can't do that, then it's cumulative and they build up and build up. So you just start to feel worse and worse and worse as time goes on. Well, if you think you can contribute to our ongoing investigation, please use the email address on the screen now to get in touch with us. Since the beginning of our probe, every response is verified and the sender's details are kept confidential.